Hello and welcome to another episode of the LDM Show, and I'm your host today, Charles Aloma. So, you know, we're going to get straight into it. Uh, you know, it's been a nice day. The cold weather starting to come in. So, I don't know. Will we see snow? I think we will. So, don't get a little too uh, hype. Uh, we would not see uh, snow or snowstorm. I'm not wishing the worst, but I'm just saying that we might get it. So it's a possibility uh, that we're going to get it. But uh, it is 2020. We had to change our uh, studio, made it look a little better. We are upgrading everything possible so that you, you, know, you guys have a, a glimpse of what we are about to do. But uh, let's get word on the street right now. Uh, well, one of them words on the streets, I haven't done words on the streets for a while, but one of the words on the streets that um, is going on is, I don't know if it's true or it's not, I really have not researched it, so don't quote me, but they're doing another lethal weapon. Let that sink in for a little bit. Another lethal weapon. It's like, okay, now bad boys come out with theirs, so now everybody else want to come out with a, with a sequel. Like, I don't know. And they're talking about Mel Gibson will come back. Also with uh, Glover, so it's like, are these guys going to come out? Uh, I don't know if the other guys are going to come too, but ain't they kind of old? I'm just saying, because the last time we uh, we left Lethal Weapon, they were sergeants, I think they were, or captains, I'm sorry. They were captains. So what are, what are they going to do? Don't get me wrong, I love the movies, but um, some movies, I think, should just stay like that. Stay on a high note. Because now if you do come out, if it's true, with another lethal weapon, I think it was what, five? Five or six? Uh, if you do come out with another lethal weapon and it's no good, it, to me, I think it it knocks down like all the others. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying with me, and I'm not saying with the older people, because we've seen lethal weapons, you know, from our generation. But the new generation that never heard of lethal weapon or never seen it, will want to see this one, and if it's no good, they ain't going to want to see the rest. But if it is so good, they're going to be like, oh, let me see the other ones. <coughs> so hopefully uh, it is going to be good. Um, there are trailers, but you never know uh, if these are man. You know, people made these trailers to look good, because uh, I remember they made a trailer of Thundercats, and I was all hype and everything, and it was all fake. It was, you know. Uh, well, well, was wasn't fake, but it felt. Um, so that's about all. Another uh, thing that I want to talk about is, <coughs> excuse me, just came out from a cold, doing doing better. Just got the little dry uh, cough. So, so that's what I want to talk about. Basically, is the flu. There's a flu shot. There's the uh, what the corona virus, which I, I make jokes about it and saying, well, instead of uh, Taking Corona, go with Budweiser. It's much lighter. Or go with Miller Light. You know what I'm saying? There's a little light uh, sickness, not a heavy sickness. But uh, that's just a, a regular joke. But <coughs> sorry about that. But um, it is getting stronger and stronger. And uh, they're coming out with some masks that's supposed to be covering the face because uh, I, don't, I don't know if the mask is going to help or not. What is it coming? But Facebook, or, or, or social media, period, when I say uh, social media, it's mostly Facebook, um, have went crazy and trying to say that uh, it's coming from people eating bats, people eating rats, people eating, uh, like, animals that they never ate before, um, and the sickness came out. I don't think so. I, I honestly cannot say it came from there, or I cannot even say it didn't come from there. But if you think about it, 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 China does have a lot of uh, little sections that are uh, poor sections where they have sickness and stuff like that. Same here. You know, we have corners where we were like, hey, I ain't going to that corner. There's a bunch of drug addicts that are sick and everything. I'm not saying China has drug addicts. I know we do. Um, hey, I say it like it is. But uh, there are sickness there that we don't understand. But it doesn't naturally come from what they eat. It could be coming from, if it is what they eat, it can be coming from the new 
uh, fertilizers or the new ground or the new something that they grow these type of foods that they're growing. Because you think about it, Asian people look a lot younger. Uh, they live longer, you know. Um, so if it's the food, it would have been killing them a long time ago. So it can't be the food, you know, especially if you're eating the food and then an hour later you're hungry again. So it cannot be the food. I'm just saying this is what people are always saying, and uh, this is what I believe in. So um, it happens, but I, I don't really think it's the food. It could be something in the air. It could be and just the reason for the mask. You got to remember that some of these scientists and governors, uh, governments, I'm sorry, know, but they don't say. So you just got to pay attention. Like, why do you want these people to wear masks? Why, you know what I'm saying? So if it's, you're telling me it's airborne. So it ain't, it ain't coming from the food. Because if it was coming from the food, you'll just tell me no, don't eat. Bring your own food. But you're not saying that. You're saying wear masks and all that. So it has to be because it's airborne. So uh, since it's airborne, you want to watch out, uh, stuff like that. Will it come in the United States? There are cases they're saying that it's here. So just be careful. Uh, if you do feel like you have the flu or anything, check up. Don't, just don't say, that's the flu. I, I always felt these chills and aching body and runny nose and all that. Double check, because you never know, you know? Better, better off uh, safe than sorry is what they say, right? So uh, another word on the streets is uh, there is a company, uh, I even forgot, and I don't have the uh, board here, but I wanted to speak about companies that are factories or companies that are truck. There is a, a, a delivery comp truck that is so-called idolizing um, their trucks. They, you, you know, there's a, a, a idle free zone in these places now that you cannot idle your vehicle more than two minutes. Uh, which is cool. Gets in the air. But when you say that to people, now all of a sudden they want to use that excuse. There's a, 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 you know, I might research it a little bit more and then talk about it, but I just wanted to talk about this place is a warehouse zone meaning factories, warehouses. This is zone for industrial. So you know you're going to get idle cars going. You know you're going to get loud cars honking horns. You know you're going to have deliveries in and out 24 hours a day, you know, going. This is an industrial zone. With that said, there are people now that they have residential uh, property around this area, and they are trying to get the city or the government to stop them from delivering at a certain time or having their trucks there, uh, you know, on at, at all times and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm, to me, I'm whole puzzled about the whole thing. It is called an industrial zone. It's not a residential zone. It's a, a Industrial. That means you're going to get warehouses, people. You're going to get factories. You're going to get trucks. Live with it or move. That's all I got to say. Stop trying to come in and changing stuff. Stop trying to change the languages. Uh, you can't say this. You can't say that. It's like the world is getting so pathetic and so sissy-like that it's getting crazy. Yes, I said it. This is the LDM show. I'm Charlie Loma, and I say exactly what I feel and how I feel. If you can't live with it, then I'm talking about you. If you're living in the jungle, what you gonna do? Call the government and say they gotta get all these lions and tigers and all this out of the jungle because you wanna live nice? No. You're living in an industrial zone. Live with it. One lady was like, I can't even open my window. Well, you should not have a window there in the first place. You should have not built a, uh, a house there in the first place. You should have built your house somewhere where it says residential. Okay? Then they got the nerves to build a playground right across the street from the industrial uh, zoning. And that playground is still smack in the middle of the zone where there's even a uh, truck company right across the street. They're complaining that they 
they are hearing the honks and the cars are going back and forth and they can't play with their kids in the park. First of all, complain to the governor or whoever made that park there. It was an industrial zone. They should have not even made the park there. So that's their fault, not the factories. They've been there before. It's not like they built the park and then they built the factory, no, or the truck companies. They built it, the park, after everything else was built. So that's not the company's fault. So learn how to fight correctly. That's all I got to say. Well, that's word on the street. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more. Hey, don't go nowhere. This is the L. He's got me. He's I'm Will D. I am Javier Luis. I'm Alex Polanco. I'm Apolonia Cruz. And I'm Kelly Caboo. I am Charlie Fowler. I am Emmanuel Anzule. Do you know one in four women will experience domestic violence during their lifetime? And domestic violence and abuse can happen to anyone, regardless of gender, race, or other factors. Two out of three homicide cases are females who were killed by a family member or intimate partner. As domestic violence victims, they face high rates of depression, sleep disturbances, anxiety, flashbacks, and other emotional distresses. And without help, witnesses of domestic violence are more vulnerable to become abusers themselves. Thus continuing the cycle of violence in the next generation. Hello, I'm Charles Aloma. Join the LDM Network and Safe Horizon and take a step into changing these facts. So if you are or know someone that is being abused, please call the City Domestic Hotline at 1-800-621-4673. So that is 1-800-621-HOPE. Speak up, speak out, and make a difference. And just know that you don't have to deal with this alone. There is help. LDM show. I'm glad you guys uh, sticked around and for you guys that just popped up. This is the LDM show. Uh, yes, we have a new background um, uh, studio. So I'm hoping you guys like it. We're trying something different. Uh, I'm pretty much have to stand the whole hour, but I'm okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we were talking about word on the street and then a little bit of the news and stuff like that. So, like I said, this whole week on the LDM network, all the shows that are on the network were speaking about uh, being single or dating and stuff like that. So I guess I have to piggyback on that, uh, considering that I'm the last show of the week. So, uh, but again, check out the LDMnetwork.net if you want to see other shows. We have variety. We have a, a they have a, a Latino show. They have a LGBT talk show. They have a Black and Brown issue talk show um, that they speak about a lot of stuff. Uh, we, they have a workout, exercise, and a body improvement um, show. They have a regular uh, talk show. They even have a movie show that reviews movies. Uh, songs, Netflix um, series, and all that other stuff. So it's a whole bunch of things on the LDM network. So just check that out. I had to just throw that in there real quick um, before we continue to the next thing. And also check out the LDM radio station. Um, if you love independent artists, check them out. Uh, LDMradio.com. A bunch of LD, uh, independent artists that are there. And also... They are fighting for your votes to become a winner at the LDM Music Awards. So, you know, shout out, uh, and if you are having events or stuff like that, let us know. We do videos, photo booths. We do a lot of stuff. At the LDM Network, it's not just a TV station. They do a whole lot more. So their motto is they are the one-stop place for everything. So I just had to throw that little quick commercial uh, plug in there. Um, you know, because 
if you don't use your platform, what else are you going to try to use? So, but anyway, uh, let's get into this. Dating now in 2000. I make fun. I make comedy because I think dating is more like, uh, eh, no, no, uh, maybe. Like, you use the apps, these dating sites, okay? And you're using these dating sites, and the first thing you're looking at before you read the profile is how their face look. Or if they have a whole body shot, then you're looking at their body. So the reason why I say this is because when you're outdoors, when you say hello to someone, the, or, you know, I'm talking about females, the females automatically think, wow, they like me. It must be from... Uh, my character or something, there's no way in heck that a guy or a girl, it doesn't matter, seeing someone in, from across the room. And you never hear a romantic movie or romantic novel saying they locked eyes from across the room and they notice that they have the most beautiful brains and they can have a perfect conversation and their lives will be as one together. You don't hear that. Come on. Even in the soap operas, even in the, the little uh, uh, novel books, the movies, it's not like that. And what they say, they locked eyes. He never seen a beauty like that before. Even in movies they say it. Even in books they say it. They see your beauty first. Or your booty. Whichever one they were attracted to. But they did not see you. So please, first thing you females, this is for females, the first thing you want to do is erase that from your mind when you meet a guy and say to yourself, oh, he likes me. He doesn't know you. Five minutes, people will be like, oh, all I need is five minutes and I, I know all about this one person. That's why I hear a lot. All I need is five minutes. And I know this person. No. You know what that means? All I need is five minutes to know if I'm going to sleep with this person or if I'm going to let him sleep with me or whatever. That's what the five minutes is for. Because there's no way you're going to know that person in five minutes. That person, but don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm going to say something that's going to contradict what I just said. And, you know, in five minutes, the thing that you can know is, is this person the same as the one that I just left. That you might be able to do within five minutes. Because they might say something, they might do something that is similar to what you didn't like in the other person. So why would you constantly say, I'm going to continue with this one person, even though he has all the traits that I didn't like from the first person that I just left. You're already down the drain with that relationship because it's not going to work. Because you just said he has all the traits that you did not like from the person you just left. And you know who does that a lot? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Females. Because why? Oh, I know how to handle that. I'm going to change that. In your mind, you want to change that one person. That's a lot of energy. It's a lot of work. For you to want to change that one person. Why don't you just say to yourself, uh, I'm going to get the person that's at least 80% of what I'm looking for. The 20%, either he'll change it or I'm going to have to live with it. Stop trying to find someone that's 30% of your capability or your likings and then want to change the whole other 70 that's missing. That's what you're going to drain yourself doing it, and then you lost all this time in your life doing something that you should have not even been doing because it, it was doomed from the beginning. Seeing the girl, perfect example, I spoke about it on the uh, Latino Huido talk show, which is on another, another cheap plug, <laughs> uh, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. on the LDMnetwork.net. Um, I was telling them before, I heard a person on the MTA sitting down, and he, she was telling her girlfriend, um, that's another word, not to throw me off track, but that's another word that 
bugs me out when I listen to it because a female can tell another female, yeah, that's my girlfriend, you know, but they mean friend, a female friend. But you never hear a guy say, introduce another guy to him, but yeah, this is my boyfriend. We be chilling, oh man, we know, we know each other for years. You never hear that. So, but anyway, that's not here. I just, it just popped in my mind, one of those, one of those things that pop in your mind that you have to talk about. But uh, anyway, um, the one thing that I was uh, saying was telling her friend that how she's having problems with her baby daddy. That she's having problems with the baby daddy because her baby daddy's having problems with his baby mamas with the S. He didn't have baby mamas before he met you? Oh, wait, he did. So if he had all these baby mamas and they had drama in that relationship and problems and everything, because the problems did not just happen. All of a sudden, their mamas wanted to act up and want to be teed off and want to do things. No, it had been happening since you were dating. So you had time to run away, but no, you want to have, you want to be baby mama number six. And then you want to complain about the guy because he's doing the same thing he did to the other five. Hello? Patton? He did, it to number, he did it to five females. Now you're number six. He ain't changing. You found him in the corner. He ain't changing. You know what I'm saying? Still going to do his way, do what he needs to do to survive. So, do you really want to be messing with something like that? Maybe. Because anyone that will mess with that I say, they're not a woman. They say a girl. Messing with boys. So leave that life because you're not an adult yet. If a woman goes to a, a male person, guarantee it's going to be a man. If a woman realizes that that man is saying things as a child, that woman would move and leave because that woman knows what she wants, knows her limitations, <coughs> has built up or had many relationships or a little relationships. I don't want to say uh, many relationships because nowadays people are like, oh, you're trying to say what? I'm a slut? No. I'm not saying that, but you know, you got to watch what you say. But a woman had relationships behind her. <coughs> so with that said, she knows what she liked in some of them and what she didn't like. She knows the, the trails or the... Uh, the clues of a cheater or clues of an abuser, clues of a child. So if they see that again, a woman would move away. A child would stay there and act like it's a game and then wind up not having a good life, not having this, but then want to complain to the man. Vice versa, it can happen to a man with a female and then want to complain with the female, oh, she locked me in. Now I'm, I'm going down for child support. She going to get me all the money and all this. Now I got to pay this. I got to pay that. Uh, she had 1,500 uh, kids and they all went on child support. You were not going to be any uh, difference. Speaking of experience, you know, I, I did that once. You know, I, now I don't have no child support no more. My child is big, but I had to pay child support. When, uh, when my child was small. Um, and if I would have listened to the future me, the one that's talking to you right now, I would have not been in that issue. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she did have kids before me. But that's not a here or there because I love my child and I was a man, did what I had to do. Okay, but we, that's a different story. But again, man, child. So as a as you're dating and you're watching these, these photos, you're looking at the beauty of it. Why, how long would it take you to learn the beauty within them? I don't think it would be five minutes. I don't even think it would be two dates, unless those two dates were like a whole weekend, maybe. Um, but I believe 
to get to know a person, each date has to be a little in a environment wise. Like I don't care if you take her to eat and then the next date you take her to eat again, but take a different environment. Her or him, I'm saying your date, uh, take that date to a different environment to see how they will react towards certain things. That's how you would know the person. Take them out in public, like they say. Because um, if you can't take them out in public, you can't take them out or you can't bring them in in private. That's, what I, that's my uh, model. You know? So again, if you can't take them out in public, you can't bring them in in private. Unless you're just one of those guys that be like, hey, that's an ugly girl. I'm not walking with her in public. Heck no. But I'll take her inside because my stuff scratch needs to scratch. You know, I got an itch. got to scratch sometimes. So she's a good person to scratch with. There are guys like that, woman. Ladies, there are guys like that. So you need to watch it. If they're not being with you outside, they're not holding you, hugging you, uh, you know, I'm not saying to show you off like a trophy like they won. We're like, hey, look what I won. Hey, great. A gold trophy, you know. I'm not saying that. But if they cannot acknowledge you outdoors, then they not acknowledging you. Blah, excuse me. But they're not acknowledging you. Try to say that 15 times uh, straight. But they're not acknowledging you in their hearts. So remember that. If they do not acknowledge you outdoors or in, in a place period. They're not acknowledging you in their hearts. So that's a throwaway. You know, I'm just giving some advice to, for, for, for the people that are dating that have been having these bad uh, relationships to have the good one. You have to have bad ones. Don't get me wrong. There are no way in heck unless you wind up with your childhood uh, I can't say man or woman, but, you know, your childhood mate or your, your, your girlfriend or boyfriend, unless you were in the childhood, but you're still going to have issues as you grow. So there's no way that you went through your relationships with having, without having an issue. But the thing about having these issues as you go along, you learn from them, or do you? Some people be like, I learn from my mistakes. So... If you learn from your mistakes, why do you have five baby mamas or you having five baby daddies? If you learn from your mistakes. How many mistakes have you have to do to realize you're not learning from your mistakes or still doing the same mistakes? How many of those? So again, you know, comment below. Uh, I'll check the comments as, as possible and I'll try. Because I love the conversations that we'll have as watching the show or after the show. Um, so just comment below should you have before you realize this. Because it can happen in one shot. Or it can happen in five dates. But a heart. A heart. So a lot of people, what happens is they want to love just because they want to love. So... Let that sink in a little bit, and uh, we're going to be right back. We're going to talk a little bit more over the conversations and what to watch for on a date. As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, we're expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LDM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to light. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter 
and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. I'm glad you guys came back uh, to watch a little bit more. So we were we are speaking about well, before the, the break about dating and realizing stuff that uh, and then little tips for the females. So remember, females, when a guy or a male, when the person goes up to you, it's not about your brains or what they think, it's about the beauty or sometimes it's about the booty. It doesn't really matter. But uh, it's not because they thought you were uh, smart or something like that. All right, so with that said, let's talk a little bit about the uh, dating site, little warning signs that you can probably see. You know, like right now, everybody's, it's kind of hard to find someone because everyone is stuck in their phones. So that's why there's so many dating apps now. The swipe here, the look here, the they got a Christian mingle. Like, how many people, when I first came out, I was like, wait a minute. I remember people used to say, oh, girl, you want a good man? Come to church. Girl, they're all there. Come to church. Hallelujah, you find yourself a man. So if you find yourself a man in church, why do we need Christian mingle? I don't know, but that's what I'm saying, that everybody just wants to be on that phone. And a lot of businesses and companies know that, so they're bringing it to your phone, you know? So maybe if you stop doing this and do this, you might see that person that you were looking for right in front of you. You never know, but you're so busy looking in and swiping and doing this and making profiles and, and, and I take long walks on the beach and I love fun, I love this. Maybe if you stop doing that and actually talk to someone, you'll probably find that person. I'm not saying. Now, I shouldn't be the one to be talking because me and my wife, we first spoke to each other on the internet and that was before all these dating things came out. This was one in Yahoo uh, chatting rooms that we, you know, you people chat. We talk. We started chatting on online, and uh, many, 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 many moons later, uh, we're still talking, and we're married now. But uh, we got to know each other a whole lot. Not only know each other, but we got to know who we were as an individual before we even locked up, and and became as one, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell a lot of people, before you become one, like, you know, it's a link. So if you're linking like this, before you do that link, you have to know yourself to open the links so you can, you know, get together. If that makes any sense, what I'm trying to say. Um, know yourself so you can bring something in besides money, career, uh, and education. Because I'm, I don't like when people was like, oh, whoever comes with me have to have to be on my level. They gotta have the the, the good job. They gotta have a good education. A good, uh, yeah, those things are good. But what happened to have a good mindset, a good heart? You know, yeah, that's not gonna pay the bills. But if I got a good job, I got a career, I got a head head over my shoulders and everything. So you think. But as a relationship person, I suck. What's going to make the difference then? How's that going to work for you? It's not, right? So exactly. So before you even think that they can be one with you because they're making all this money and they're doing all these things and they're traveling, and that, make sure they can be one with you because they already know themselves. Not their worth. Because I, people will be like, oh, I know my worth. I know what I want. No, you know your worth is means that you know your material stuff that you want to make sure no one is going to take away from you. That's not knowing yourself. Know what you can bring mentally, physically, because a relationship is a work. It's a job. You know what I'm saying? There are some people in this world right now that only get to see them, uh, a person 
maybe half an hour or an hour a day, if that, sometimes. I know a couple people that don't even see each other until the weekend. My friend's dad is one of them. He works in New York City and has a house in PA. He's a truck driver. Only gets to go home on the weekend. So that weekend, he's tired and everything. So he have to really make that relationship work. But it's working. So, know what you, you know what I'm saying? So, I know I'm gabbing a little bit and everything. But I just want to shout out a lot of people out there watching right now. There's a couple people online. I can't say everybody's name, but... Continue the comments. I like, like it. Uh, I hope, hope you like the new studio as well. So, rule one, when you're on a date. Men, this is the men first. Then I'm going to go towards the woman. Men, lock eyes. Eyes. I'm saying eyes. Because a lot of the females will complain, my eyes are up here. So then stop wearing those things that are boof out. Like that, you know what I'm saying? And or, or, or wearing what I call the toto pants that show the, the camels and all that. We're not in the desert. Keep the camels away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to say that, but just lock eyes. Because if you're looking at the person, you might understand what they're saying. Or you can understand what they're really feeling. Because they can say something, but on their looks of their face and their eyes, can tell you a different story. So listen to them. Do not, as a man, do not gloat. Do not, oh, I got this, yeah, I got that. Everybody be wanting me. No. If everybody wanted you, you would not be here trying to find a date, find a mate. You would have been had it already. So nobody wants you. So let's take that away from our minds, guys, all right? Oh, because as a woman, if someone says, everybody wants me, that means, wait a minute. You got all these girls behind you. Then I got to make competition with all these girls. That's too tiring. So guys, don't say that. So one of the things. I, I'm not saying that don't do it. That's up to you. Don't go with a lot of girls. That's up to you. This is why it's called dating. You know, checking out uh, what floats your boat, I guess. But um, that's one thing. Do not gloat about yourself because it's kind of shallow. So don't do it. Um, the third thing, what happened to the correct compromising of a person? Telling the person how they look, how uh, beauty, and how you make them feel at that moment. Wow, nice dress. Really looks nice on you. If it's on the second date, compromise, not compromise, but try to give and take a little, you know, give it to her, whatever she makes her feel happy, let her have it, give it to her, wait to the second date or the third date for you to give a little bit of you, you know what I'm saying, but the first date, get to know her so she can get to know you, you know what I'm saying, uh, question, always question the stuff, and do not, for God's sakes, why do people do that? Do not speak about your exes. And females, I know I was going to uh, jump on you. One of the things you females need to stop doing is asking about the exes on the first date. The reason why is because you might get an answer you don't like at that moment. Because you just want to get to know to see who this person is and enjoy yourself first. You know? So, I'm not saying that you shouldn't know about his past a little. But if he has a lot of baby mamas, as you're speaking to him in the course of the day, it's going to come out. It's gonna, so, don't directly act because maybe he just had a perfect 
not a perfect relationship because he's not with the person, but he has a, a relationship that was great, but one screw up or one something happened that he, he or she broke up with each other. Um, there could be relationships where you're still good friends, but you realize as a couple, couple, couple wasn't going to work. So if you hear that, you're going to be like, ooh, oh, ah, you know what I'm saying? So you got to do competition with someone that was perfect in his eyes for a moment. So do you really want to hear that? So that's what I'm saying. There are certain questions that you don't really need to ask. It will come out. Gradually let them um, know. If you have a child as a female, yes, I think you have to say it. Not out in the open. Hey, dude, uh, before anything, I got a kid. He little kid. You know, and then start showing pictures. No, I'm not saying to do that. But... It has to come out because if a guy does not like kids or want kids, that's a, a thing that it will push him to the side. So you might as well just tell him anyway. But, uh, you know, kids are okay. Exes and their back lives, no. Not at the first date. You know what I'm saying? You don't want so, so much information on the first date, and that's the problem. Everybody wants so, so much information, and they want it right there, right now. This ain't social media, you know. This ain't the media, period. This is two human beings enjoying themselves, forgetting about the world, and only thinking about them, too. That's what a date is all about. A date is not to, to try to cram everything and then go tee off and then having uh, complaints about it. So the first date, enjoy yourself. Let the conversations flow as you go to the second the third that's when you start throwing little questions here and there this goes for both men and women uh, throw little questions here and there and see how it goes all right the one thing before I go because uh, we're running out of time here as a female on the first date one thing that I can tell you not to do is dressed like you're dressing for a club. Hoochie club wear is not for date wear. You understand what I'm saying? Um, because a man, I'm going to tell you the truth. Now, I know a lot of men right now are probably going to be teed. But men are sexual beings. They think sexually many, many times a day. Females are known for fact. That in within the five minutes, they know if they want to give it up to you or not. If they are going to give it up to you, then they start thinking how long you want, it's going to take before you, you can get some. A man, in, in a couple of seconds, he'd he be like, I just, hopefully she gives it to me. I'm going to take it no matter what. I'm not, you know? These are, because men are sexual beings. They are conquerors. They want to conquer everything. They want to make uh, their... The generations continue. That's a man's, pretty much a man's job. If you look at the history, history of men uh, from back to where the uh, man made that written book, it was dumb making kids, making sure that their generation continues. So that's a man's job. So if you're going to be dressing like you're, uh, a hoochie in, 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 a, um, in a music video or something like that, you're not going to get the man's total respect or their attention because they're looking at you and they're like, is this girl going to keep on talking or can we go home? Damn, I want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying not to dress sexy. Dress how you feel sexy-wise, not trashy. There's two different things. There's a sexy and then there's a trash. Sexy, to me. A, a lady wearing the man's long shirt, nothing on, just a long shirt. Sexy, that's why they made one of those dresses, a shirt dress or whatever they call it. Because they knew it was a sexy thing in a man's eye. It wasn't trashy. Trashy. Having your boobs all like this, and then having just a little material over here, but your boobs are all out, out here like this. You know? You, you're, you're, you're riding the camel in the desert. That's not sexy. You know what I'm saying? So those are the two different things. 
I might be wrong. You might be pissed off right now and, and going to comment below. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You ain't good looking yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Because that's how people try to make a point. They want to try to bring you down. So uh, I know my worth. <laughs> I know what I'm good for. And I know what I can do. So words don't hurt me. Um, I'm from back in the days where sticks and stones may break my bones, but words never hurt me. I'm still like that. So you can comment below, say whatever you want to say, but as a criminal analyst like I used to be, I realize some of the stuff, and I watch some of the stuff, when I see people on dates, and I see them looking like they're going to a, a music video or to a club, the female never looks at the guy. The guy is not really paying attention to you. He has that empty look, just staring at you, thinking that you think that he's actually paying attention when he's not. He's just looking at the big, big uh, picture frames that you have, or the big, that's what he was attracted to, and that's what he's going for. I'm just saying, so the first thing you want to do on a first date, dress sexy, not trashy. You understand know what I mean? I'm, I'm hoping that makes sense, you know, because a lot of times out there, everybody wants to, you know, like King Law said from WWE, the puppies, they all want to be out. Um, you don't need to be all out to attract a man. You understand? They say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Nah. Because if it was like that, I would be in love with so many females from the restaurants that cook. Uh, and they cook real good. So I got to keep on going to that restaurant. Don't just mean I, I'm, I'm in love with that lady. You know what I'm saying? So no. That's just a phrase. A way to a man's heart it's through his emotions and his thoughts. If you can make him feel or think things that he never thought or, or felt before, he will stay. Just like sex-wise, if you have sex with him in a way that he never had sex before, he going to be staying with you for a long time until he goes and gets tired of that. So you got to continue mentally and physically Enduring him as a relationship. Does that make any sense? So, and then females, don't get upset when you ask a question to a, a man and he t gives you the answers you did not want to hear. That was the reason for the question, for you could know what his answers was. Not give him a question and then want your answer. Doesn't work that way. So when you're on a date, please ask the question, sit back, and let the guy speak because I've seen it many times where the girl asks a question and I'm like what really okay like okay can you sit and let the guy speak you understand because the guy speaks sometimes he sticks his foot in his mouth so but uh hopefully some of these things help you out some of these probably didn't you probably disagree you might agree I don't know but uh I'm Charles Aloma, and I'll be back next week to talk a little bit about uh, the news and word on the streets. But uh, I hope you enjoy yourself. And again, uh, check me out every uh, week here on the LDM Network, as well as BronxNet, and uh, listening to me on the LDM radio station. So talk to you next week. And remember, be safe, keep your eyes open, and be aware for the